Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are going to be replacing a backyard sump pump. Um, the pit has actually been buried. The sump liner where the sump pump sits has been buried. We're going to be putting a new pump in there and also extending the pit up to grade so that there's access to this in the future. You can see Paul's already got, got down there to the pit almost. I can see the white pipe for the discharge of the pit. That line comes up and comes right out through there. It looks like it discharges down to the end of the yard down there. This is something that the homeowner could do themselves to replace the pump. Probably the, the hardest part of this is not is not really the digging to get down into the pit. That's just a little bit of labor. The, the pump is still down below where we are, about four and a half feet. So it makes it just a little bit difficult to you know, to maneuver the pump, pull it up, get it out of there, and put it back together. But we're going to show you how to do that too. Right now we're taking apart the no-hub so that we can pull that pipe apart and we should be able to pull that lid right off of there. You can leave that side on. Yep, good. He's pulled it apart and now we should be able to be able to lift that pump up. This is a, a real tight install. There it comes. It's coming right up. Just get one side of it and pry it up, Paul, where you got it already up. Yep, let's try to pull that whole string up out of there. Just wiggle, wiggle it apart. Move everything out of the way and you should be able to lift it right up out of there. Luckily that had a string on it to get it where we can get it up and out of the pit. So now we're gonna take all this apart and we're gonna re-plumb it with a new pump. First we're gonna take our male threaded adapter, we're gonna screw this in like so until it's tight. Then we'll take our riser right here and we will put glue around the outside, cement inside, around the inside. Outside of that one, yeah. Okay. Outside of this, inside of the adapter. Hold that in place. We have a check valve right here. What does that check valve do? Uh, it allows water to only flow one direction. Only flow one direction. Right. Oh. Use a 32 gallon trash can, which is super strong. This is the same material as the sump liner is made out of. And we'll use the lid, which is super strong also. You can step on it, won't fall through or anything. And that way we'll cut this off to whatever level, whatever level we need, we'll cut it off right here and that'll bring it up to grade. Yep. So now we just use the trash can as a liner and you can see it fits right inside the sump, the old sump liner push it snug just so that we're at, at grade we want to be at grade with our lid right here and we're on a hill so it's going to be you know deeper on that side but that's okay it's all looking good for the the discharge it'll come into the side here we'll cut a hole right there and the pump's still going to go down to the bottom of the pit you can see that pits down there really deep now we're down about five six feet and it'll, it should work really good so we've installed our our Zoller M53 down in our super deep pit and we've tied a small string on here so that you're able to lift up the pump in the future. We've got it you know from the pump you can see the white float as the water rises in the pit that float comes up kicks on the pump comes up through the check valve through the riser and comes out this discharge line goes into the four inch pipe on this side and basically again all we did you can see me putting my weight on here this this is super secure we've cut off the bottom of a trash can and we slid it slid it inside of the other liner and then we put screws all around to secure it tightly and this will last for years and years and years we're going to put the lid on here cover it up and we're done Of course, it's always nice to test out your system to make sure that so we're going to add some water here and uh, let that pump come on, kick it on, make sure everything works good. 
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Okay, so you can see we've got our cat spacings in place. Starting to cover over here, it turns to solid. We're just covering the trench up. Once it's all covered, we're gonna clean off our boots and then we'll clean off this patio. And the last thing we'll do is pour the gravel just to kind of give it that finished touch. But all in all, it's looking real good.